Oh, I'm ready to what? Mm -hmm. Am I blind or am I missing someone? Yo. Yeah, Toko's not here. And Toko is. You really don't remember. Come on. Kidding? I'm just kidding. How can I forget that I did my job? She's a crucial part of this class trial this time. What are you gonna do? Okie dokie, I'll go ahead and drag her out here, kicking and screaming. Just one moment, please. Just like that. Just like you said a few minutes later, he reappeared, dragging took her behind him. Oh, uh, why can't we see that? I just told him I didn't want to, but he, he forced me. I can't believe you would dra dra drag drag a girl around. <laughs> terrible, you're too terrible. Woo! So, now we're for it. Look at hell. Oh my god, you're heavy. Woo! Come on. Here. Woo! Everyone, everyone's here, right? Okay then. Hustle. Hustle onto the elevator. Fucking hell. And, and let's get a show on the road. Oh, oh, I'll see you guys then. Fucking hell. So, shall we get to go? Just time to find out who killed Chihiro. Chihiro. Chihiro Fazaki. She was so gentle, so calm, and meek. Maybe you've had problems with her. Someone made the choice to kill a girl like her. And that murderer is one of us. Someone's standing right here. Let's see what everyone thinks, shall we? Hmm. You ready? We're doing this. Well then. I would uncover a villain who performed such heinous acts on a weaker individual. Hmm. I don't know why the killer did what they did, but I'm sure it'll work itself out just as always prevails, right bro? Shall we go? Shall we begin? Mr. Yaki, I must your man for being freaky. He was quite remarkable. Of course, just the idea of freaky makes me cringe. Hey, come on! Fuck it, Toko, man. What's more, got out some work done. Yeah, there's something odd about Deco's behavior. I do not think mere shock is enough to explain it. Cause she's Jenny Joe and Jack, and she herself thinks that she did it. I guess I wasn't much help at all on this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> I gave you plenty to work with. Show us how far your logic can take you. We have no choice, right? We have to do this. Yes. I gave a small nod in reply. With one last deep breath, I walked toward the elevator on shaky legs. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race. Faster and faster. As soon as everyone was on, the elevator began to descend. I couldn't get a handle on my emotions. Couldn't stop speculating. The steel sound. The steel box stank heavy clunking sounds deeper and deeper into the ground. And as we be went deeper, and as we went deeper, the uneasiness in my heart grew bigger and bigger. The elevator was unaffected, however, and continued to descend without hesitation until finally... Welcome to my floor! <laughs> Came to a sudden stop. Oh shit, come on. <laughs> what do you think, Hyper Redecorated? Isn't it so fresh? Isn't it so <laughs> exciting? Don't waste our time with stupid questions, let's get this over with. Good food, you rip prayer in the go. Gotta say I don't hate it. Not yeah. all. Okay then, let's get the show on the road. Chills, chills, kills. Everyone, please find your assigned seats. And so it's Curtis and April once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly shit, a deadly cast trial. Okay, so let's set our new skills. So we got this too. Hey. Okay. This is your. Yeah, why can't I have that? Uh, reduces your aim speed, increases your aim speed. Oh, 
Must give it up. Increases the speed of memorizing a statement effective during. Alright. Okay, that's all we got. Just check the way. Yeah, we go. Open e -hamp. Let's just go through these one more time. So, we have. Monokuma file 2. The victim was Jihiro Fazaki. The time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. But it was discovered in the girl's locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. Which, as we have talked about before, means that it was not actually a proper genocide giant murder. Although Jihiro wanted to get stronger, she declined several invitations from Siaka and Aya. And may have been used the locker room late at night to avoid them. Despite this, she Hero had stated that she did she had desired help with her efforts. She may be meeting someone in the locker room the night she was murdered. The dumbbell found on the floor of the girls' locker room had a significant amount of blood on it. Chiro told anyone willing to listen that she wanted to get stronger. Some assumed that due to her inferiority complex about being weak, she might strength more than anything else. To unlock a rocket blah, blah, to unlock a locker room, you need to swipe your e handbook over the card reader. You need a male student's handbook for the boys' locker room and a female student for the girls. It is not possible for two people to enter at the same time. Additionally, lending someone your handbook is a violation of school regulations. Handbook of each student that has died in place is placed in the blah, blah, blah. The handbook of each student that has died is placed in the mailbox in the main hall. One of the handy books found in the main hall had been broken, which is apparently a rare occurrence. Jungos and Sayaka's handbooks both seem to work fine to assume that the broken handbook is Leon's. However, Monokuma claims it's very unlikely that Leon's handbook would have been broken. Suspected genocide jack victims, including Ken Hendra, Tetsuo Honda. Oh, by the way, that just said that it's not Leon's, really. It's not Leon's handbook, which is. Odd. Suspected genocide jack victims include Ken Hendra, Toshio Honda, and Soji Gaku, among countless others. They were killed in the same way and mounted to a nearby wall. The word bloodless was found at the scene of each crime written in blood. Profiling indicates the killer is likely a student suffering from a split personality. Chiro seems to. Which is Toko, by the way. Chiro seems to have. Consciously kept her distance from the other girls at school, even from the beginning. Meanwhile, it had been noticed that she got along remarkably well with her male classmates. Carpet in the boys' locker room was found with a blackish stain on it. That is because the murder actually happened in the boys' locker room, but everything was moved around. Which. I'm confused about that one because I don't know how she got in. Blood is found on the poster in the girls' locker room. The poster featured. Well, I'm not confused, but I'm not going to say anything about it. Featured a big breasted supermodel popular among young boys. Meanwhile, the poster in the boys' locker room was basically a key switch. Shira's handbook was not found on the corpse, it has apparently gone missing. Oh, I get it. It's gone missing, and there's one that's broken. It's. hers? Yeah, it's her handbook then. Okay. Chiro's body would be suspended, had to be bound with some kind of rope. But it wasn't, it was like the extension cord which was missing from the lamp. Her fatal injury was placed to the head. Sakura mentioned that she was responsible for a coffee stain in the girls' locker room, rather the stain have been sent the stain since had been inexplicably scrubbed away. No, it hadn't it be replaced with the other carpet. The yoko was named her Use a slam often, however, the extension cord had gone missing because it was tying it. Chihiro up. On the night of the murder, right before night time, Chihiro was spotted leaving the warehouse. It seemed she was stuffing some blue exercise clothes into a duffel bag. Seemingly, she was on her way to exercise, but the clothes were not found at the crime scene, so Lester not told anyone other than Makoto about this encounter. Right, let's finish preparations. All rise for trial. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, 
then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Okay, then. So, first off, let's talk about the murder weapon! First, we have to make clear what was used to the weapon. Dumbbell. Easy. Chihiro's fatal injury. It appears it was a head wound. Yep. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. No, that's wrong. Why an iron pipe? I bet it was an iron pipe. But the <laughs> Can we agree that the object that dealt the fatal blow was the dumbbell found at the scene of the crime? It was covered in blood. And there was nothing else at the scene that could have caused that kind of injury. I don't know where the fucking iron pipe came from. <laughs> like, there was no iron pipe anywhere around. Maybe it was a little metal box. Maybe it was a metal version of a Rubik's Cube. Yes, that sounds good. I'll just blurt out any old shit. Why not? And the wound on the victim's head is consistent with the shape of the dumbbell. As far as I'm concerned, there's no mistake and no room for doubt on this one. You... Looked at her head wound? Yay! That's so creepy! Well, it's not. It's called investigation, dumbass. If you don't mind, I will proceed from here. Let's move on to discussion of the culprit. Although, I believe the criminal behind this heinous act is already you quite You think clear. it's Genocide Jack, but it's not. For real? Chihiro's killer is the fiendish serial killer, Genocide Jack. Now watch Taiko's face. Oh, okay, never mind. Genocide Jack, the fiendish serial killer? Did she really kill your hero? No. New elements to be added. Non stop debates. Would you like to hear more? This debate lies wide noise will appear to disrupt your reactions. Your truth pillars will disappear if they hit these lines, so think of them as obstacles in your debate. But there's a way to keep this white noise from getting in your way. Press the right mouse button to attach the silencer, which you can use to shoot down the right noise. Right noise, right mouse button, you get it, ha ha ha. However, if you shoot an extra remark with your silencer instead of the white noise, time it will decrease. So take careful aim when you have your silencer out. Oh, but if you... Your action difficulty is set to gentle, white noise won't be at all. In which case, you can forget all about silencer and just coat fix on the situation in front of you. Well done, good luck and have fun. Right, I'm guessing it's Genocide Jack case button. The culprit is Genocide Jack. I'm sure of it. Case closed, as far as I'm concerned. But that's impossible! Why? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean, come on! There's just no proof for it. No, that's wrong. There's wrong proof for it, but I mean, there's one piece of proof for it, but you know. I might know one reason he could be involved. What? I found this file while I was looking around the archive in the library. I guess it's some kind of confidential file the police put together about the genocide Jack case. What? That's kind of weird as shit, isn't it? What was something like that doing in the library? The why of it is probably more trouble than it's worth. So let's forget about that for now. More importantly, it outlines all the specifics of every Genocide Jack case in exceeding detail. According to the file, there appear to be two defining characteristics in every Genocide Jack case. The first is that a bloody message is found written at the scene of every murder. Oh, that's right. Ooh, okay. Must. Because I'm not boobless. What the fuck? Anyway, um, before we said anything, I just thought of a really like interesting character that you could make, and then like they were the killer of one of them. So there's this guy who acts really dumb, 
but he's actually like smart as fuck. Like any question he could answer it. But he acts like he's dumb. So he goes up, uh why is that then? Um I'm not too sure. And then yeah. But you'd have to be good at another talent, otherwise ultimate genius would give it away. But yeah, okay. That'd just be how you do it. Uh, no. It's actually bloodlust. But then again, that means you were planning to kill from the start, so... Eh. Might not happen. But more important is the other characteristic. And it's something that has never been made public. Never made public? What the hell is it? Why don't you tell them, Makoto? Every characteristic here for Genocide Jack, which the world at large doesn't know. I got it! Apparently, okay. in every Genocide Jack case, the killer suspends the body in a certain way. Other than I know the killer, wrong. the well, only people who right. know about this are the higher-ups in the police department. However, Chihiro is most definitely suspended in the same way. So, by the way, I don't know how that know about work. this when only high-level yeah. police officials were aware of it. There's only one logical answer I can think of. They looked to that file. It's because the culprit in this case is the real genocide Jack. Mm, that's no right. fucking way! You're saying Genocide Jack is one of us? Yes. Uh, well, fact, yeah, but... It's Toko. True. What? Genocide Jack's true identity is Toko Fukawa. You <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what? No! Okay, wait, hold on a sec. Toko has, like... Bloodophobia or whatever, uh, remember? Can be mixed what kind of serial killer is afraid of blood? Well, is Toko Genocide Jack? The answer is yes and no. Another riddle. Man, why is this gotta be so complicated? I mean, I thought it was a steel pipe, but you know, whatever. Seems like a riddle in a way, but I feel like I can just about see it. Genocide Jack is Toko, but isn't Toko. What does it mean? Just split personality! Penguin's Gambit. Hey. What the fuck? What is it? What the fuck is it? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is that word? Chisnebe? 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 Jeez. Did they not fucking translate that bit or something? What the fuck is shiz in the bit? Shiz in the bit. What a fucking word that is. Shiz in the bit. What the fuck is a chiz in the bit? Hang on. I'm looking this up. I am fucking looking this up. Right, so the word we were looking for is shizzer. What the fuck is shizzer? Shizzer.
Chisel. Right. Oh, do you understand? Fucking hell. Is it because the Genocide Jack has a split personality? Hang on now, fuck it. Shizzo. S C H I Z O. Shizzo. Schizophrenia. Right. If it was schizophrenia, I might have gone, oh yeah, okay. Uh, Urban Dictionary, Shizzo. Because all the others are just being schizophrenia. Short for cis schizophrenia, as in paranoid schizophrenia, which is a severe mental disorder, often confused with medical personality disorder. Someone with wildly dis diverse personality traits that manifest themselves into in a less sane manner. Right, so they've got it wrong for a start. I'm just gonna pick holes now, cause fuck them. Shizzo, fucking hell. <laughs> that bitch is a shizzo. One minute she's under Sunday school with a girl, the next minute she's a crack baller and they can say the blush. <laughs> fucking hell. Ah, urban dictionary. <laughs> fucking hell. You've gotta love it. 